Hello everybody, this is Video Lancer. In this video tutorial, I will show you the easy way of creating realistic reflection for sunglasses. In this method, we can add reflection, add any color filter, as well as the effect of magnifying glass that can be used in some funny video. But before we start, I'd like to recommend you my most popular seamless transitions for After Effects and also for Premiere Pro. I have made more than 3,000 ready-to-use transitions and their number is still growing. Try them right now! A free version is available for all subscribers of my channel. Download links are in the description. Well, let's start our tutorial. Import the footage into a new composition. If your footage doesn't match the size of the composition, you should make Recompose for it. Enable the Move All Attributes into the new composition and click OK. It is required to avoid problems with proportions after tracking. Make sure that preview resolution is set on full and apply Mocha effect to the footage. Open plugin window. Outline right rim with the help of X spline. It's enough to make a rough shape as we'll use it as an auxiliary layer. Now let's try to make tracking. Rename this layer as Right Rim. Now let's make a mask for the lens. Switch off the Right Rim layer so it wouldn't prevent. Using X Spline, outline the frame in the place where the real lens is located. Select all points of the spline in order to round off the shape. Let's call this layer as Right Track. In Link to Track option, select Right Rim Layer. Now this shape repeats movements of Right Rim Layer. However, we'll have to edit the shape manually along the timeline in some places. It's ready. Repeat all these steps for the left rim. It's done. Now let's set up anchor points for glasses. Switch on planar surface and switch this plane so that it is within rim frames. Go back to After Effects. Close the plugin window with saving the project. Click Create AE Masks in Plugin Settings. Let's paste these masks on a separate layer. Create a new solid and call it Lens Mask. Copy masks from the footage into clipboard. Here you can delete them. Paste the masks on the Lens Mask layer. Increase the value of Feather a little for the mask. Now create a new null object. We'll import the tracking data on it. Call it Right Track. Duplicate the similar null for the left rim. Go back to the footage layer and click Create Track Data in the Mocha settings. In the appeared window, there is the list of all layers that we have made inside the plugin. Set a checkbox on the right track. Select Transform in Export option. Select Right Track in Layer Export and click Apply Tracking. It's ready. Now the right track layer moves together with the right rim of glasses. Repeat these steps for left track layer. Next, we add the reflection. Create a new composition. Call it Reflection Map. Drag and drop texture or footage here that will be used as the reflection. Now, drag and drop Reflection Map composition into the main comp. Apply CC Lens effect to it. Decrease the value for parameters convergence and size in the effect settings. Now if we move the center of the effect, it will look as if the environment moves as well inside the convex lenses of real glasses. Let's link the center of the effect 
to the position of right track layer. Next, we'll use the mask. Duplicate the lens mask layer and place it above the reflection map. Delete the unnecessary mask of the left lens. Set the alpha mat mode for the reflection map. Duplicate these layers for the left side and rename them to avoid confusion. Paste the corresponding mask into the left mask layer. Also change the expression so that to use tracking data from the left track layer. Next, let's add the color of glass tint. Set blend mode to the screen for reflection map. Select the lens mask layer and add fill effect on it. Next we'll make the magnification effect for lenses. So create a new adjustment layer. Call it magnifier. Place it above the footage layer. Temporarily disable all layers above. Apply bulge effect on magnifier layer. Link bulge center to the position of right track layer in the effect settings. Increase effect radius so that it is a bit bigger than the rim size. Now duplicate right lens mask and use it as a mask for magnifier. Repeat all the steps for the left rim. Next, you can switch on all the switched off layers and experiment a little with settings of reflection and lenses tints. That is all. Well, I hope this video was helpful for you. That was Video Lancer. See you next time.